is up, girls, gays, and bays. I am here with a brand new first episode of Queer Tech, and we're going to be unboxing the brand new uh, Razor Blade 15 base model with a core 11 Gen Core i7, 11800H, 16 gigs of RAM, RTX 3070, and 512 gigabytes of solid state storage. So let's get into it. I'm very excited. This is a huge upgrade, which I will show you here pretty soon. So let's do it. Standard razor box in a box. bubble wrap. We will worry about that in a minute. Start with our accessories that we get. That's a really nice braided cable with Razor's proprietary um, connection. This is new to me. I'm used to USB-C. This is a 230 watt power adapter. So we have that with our U.S. plug right here. And obviously, the grand moment. Gorgeous. Wow. All right, sorry, I needed to take that in. So we lift this up. Wow, that's cool. All right. So in here, we have standard paperwork. I imagine there's nothing under this plastic. OK. Let's move this gorgeous box out of the way. And inside here, we have, thank you for choosing Razor, another message, some info on the base model itself, and oh, here we go. Getting started guide. Very cool. So there is that with some information I need to get done. Ooh. We get cute stickers. Ah, oh, microfiber cloth, and that is it. Okay. Now, let us boot this for the first time. I'm sure I should be plugging it in. I know. Don't, don't come for me. Oh my goodness. This is much larger than what I'm used to. It feels good. All right, gonna do the infamous one-handed test. All right, it passed. Wow, this is cool. Here you go, so it tells you what's in here. So, RTX 3070, 11th Gen Core i7, 8 cores, 16 threads, up to 4.6 gigahertz. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is take that off. And, oh, I meant to add, this has the uh, 1440p display, AKA uh, QHD at 165 hertz refresh rate. Cool beam. All right, are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh wow, it must be like actually dead. Ah, cool. Keyboard feels good. All right, I'm gonna plug this in really quick and we'll be right back. All right, now, y'all cannot come to me because it's officially plugged in. Now, let's start. There we go. So there's a stop half per key zone, key lighting. Oh my goodness, this QHD display is gorgeous. Yeah, this is just an array. I want to know how many zones. I wonder maybe three. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. I'm very excited. Very first boot. This is yet again another razor masterpiece. It is stunning. While this is getting ready, I'm going to show you what I'm upgrading from. 
Okay, so I have one of the original razor blade stealths. This is, I think, the 2017 and a half edition. Um, very well used, well loved. Um, and I just wanted to see these kind of sit side by side. Oops. Some work. Cool. So as you can tell, obviously, much larger in size, which I'm very much happy with. Um, keys are a little bit smaller for the arrows. Other than that, it's pretty similar in keyboard layout. Obviously, we have this whole top row as a cool array, which I'm very grateful for. Obviously, this moved. Let's go over the ports while this loads. So this has two USB-A's, one Thunderbolt, I think, 3.2, USB 2.1. We've got a uh, Thunderbolt 4 over here, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, no USB-A, and your Ethernet port, obviously, with Razer's proprietary um, power connector. So, yeah, that is what we are upgrading from. Oh, would you look at that? It lights up back here. That's nice. Um, if you're into that gamery look, I'm not like the biggest fan of the gamery look, but I knew that this was going to be a good, uh, this was a good price performance ratio, to be honest with you. I was really happy with how this was going. So, all right, we are here at the loading screen. We're going to get signed in and I be right back. Well, I got a little ahead of myself and already started to, uh, get this set up for myself. I will go ahead, throw the unboxing online, and if you like this, please let me know. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see me do with it. I've got some upgrades planned already, um, some RAM SSD upgrades. I'm also going to be using this machine as a way to start developing some interesting data insights with regard to human activity and mental health. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, and give this a good thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll all talk soon. All right, bye y'all.